Hello everyone, TR here and welcome to another tutorial where today I'm going to be showing you how to get to the moon on Kerbal Space Program. So without further ado, you want to put your rocket on the launch pad, go full throttle, click T and launch off. So what I'm going to do is leave you here, we're going to get to about 70,000 meters off the floor, we'll see you then, so see you in a bit. Hello everyone, I am back and we are now at 72,000 meters off the floor. So what you want to do, you want to start turning your rocket towards 90 degrees, and you want to try and get it halfway in the red and halfway in the blue. So you got to be careful here. Sorry. You need it about there. So. What you want to do when you get it there, you want to click X to stop stop your engine, or whatever you want to call it. Click that little X there, and why is it like that? Right. Right. So yeah, keep, try and keep it in the 90, and then you want to time warp around the AP. Like that. And you want to go full throttle. So you're trying to make it orbit now. I don't know why it's went all like that, but it has. I'm sure it'll be alright. So this was supposed to be up on Friday, but I mean, I was, I've been busy and all weekend I've been busy so I've been trying to get it done and now it's here so Right, so we've run out of fuel on that. Let's get rid of that. Just have fuel again. Should be there in a minute. So when you're in orbit, you'll have an AP, which is already there, and you should have a PE as well. And it's coming, and it's coming. There we are. We'll let that go out a bit more. And I'd say. It's kind of flat, kind of not, but what we're trying to do, we want to get that AP all the way out to that white line over there. So what you want to do is time warp into time warp, before I say anything, is the little two arrows from M, between M and Q. So use the arrows to speed up your time warp. Yeah, go around your PE, like that. And now you want to go, not that one, not the one with the X, if you look on my little ball, you want to go around to the one that hasn't got an X in it, and then you want to throttle, and it should start pushing that AP out. So you've got to wait until that gets to that little line. Try and stay in that little circle as good as you can. See, what we're trying to do here is orbit the moon, so then we can land on it. But this does start speeding up, so don't worry. It's starting to go a bit faster now. And we're getting faster and faster. want to click X to stop our engine when it hits that white line so no no push it a little bit more say about there so now we've got that all you need to do now is time warp round so use your little time warp time warp as fast as you want 
until we get an encounter. And the encounter it should come up with like a purple circle like this and a yellow line. And a little yellow line. And when you've done that, if you get to that point before me, then just wait until I get an encounter. Try not to time warp so fast though, because you don't want to go speeding off all over the place. There we are, we got a... That's what an encounter looks like. Hopefully this works. The amount of times I've tried to get the moon and this don't work is unreal. So what we're going to do, we're going to start time warping and we're going to click F5 just to quick save. And you just want to time warp onto that little yellow line. And does it work? Yes, it does. And stop time warping. Stop time warping. What you want to do, you want to go into the circle. I think it's the one without the X. I'll have a look. No, it's not. You want to go into the circle that has an X now. So we're moving to the other circle. Let's go into this circle here. And you want to go full throttle. And the line should start doing a circle around the moon to make a orbit. That's what we want. Yes, we've got an orbit. This is good. This is going real good. So what we're going to do, we're going to click F5 again because we don't want to mess this up. So we've now got orbit around the moon. Now what we want to do, we want to get that, oh no, we're going to be on the dark side, but we could go on the bright side actually. So if we go around to the PE, it depends whether you want the bright side or not. So say your bright side is on the PE, well all you, all you need to do is get either one, the AP or the PE as close as possible to the moon. So if you go if you want the P, but um, to put to pull it in, you want to go to the one with the X, I think, and then you want to throttle up, and it should start coming towards it. Got to be careful though that it don't actually go all the way into. The Dex, and I mean we've got that pretty close there haven't we so now what we want to do want to click M oh have we got enough fuel so the moon's there click G have we got enough fuel we might be able to so we're going to click F5 again just in case you want to time warp round to that PE There we are. So when you've time walked around to that PE, we should be like right next to the moon now, you see? And on our little ball here, you want to go round to the X, this X, and every now and then you want to throttle up and this little thing here where it says surface, you want to try and get that down to three. Well, for what, as you're about to land, that should be it about three. So you just want to keep throttling, but stay in this little X thing. Whether I've got enough fuel or not, I don't know. Right, you see the X is now moving up, so it's going to slowly guide us.
I don't think we've got enough fuel, guys. Right. If you run out of fuel, just get your guy out. And he's going to have to do the job for you. So yeah, we've we've made it. So that's how to get to the moon. Remember, if you're still in your rocket, that's great. But remember, there's the ball there and that little X. So I've practically shown you what to do now. It's just the landing bit went kind of messed up. So I'm sorry about the landing, but we still landed. So remember, if you're if you don't have enough fuel, jump out and come down with your guy. So yeah, we're on the moon. We made it. We made it. So yeah. There we have it. That's a tutorial on how to get to the moon on Kerbal Space Program. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope it helped. And if it did help, remember to hit that like button. And most importantly, subscribe. Share it with your friends and favourite it. But yeah. This has been a tutorial on how to get to the moon on Kerbal Space Program. And this has been Tia. Signing out.